You know that feeling? The type 2 fun feeling where your legs are burning, your back aches, you taste blood. You hurt now, but it feels so good after. And you know that story? The story where these two guys met up with a crazy idea to start this crazy event in the heart of Colorado mountain biking? Yeah. Well, we know that feeling and that story because you can find both of them here in Crested Butte on Fat Bikes. This is Getting Fat, the story of the Fat Bike World Championships. This dude, he's Dave Ox. He's been a part of Crested Butte Mountain Bike Association for 17 years. And he, quote, developed a problem with mountain biking in Crested Butte ever since moving here in 2001. And this dude, he's John Norton. He graduated from Dartmouth, became a Marine, later did some math stuff, and then became CEO of Crested Butte Mountain, and is basically the sole reason the mountain isn't a super hilly golf course today. A few years back, these two legends had a chat that would go down in history. So the story goes, uh, Kirk Gieselman, uh, Rob and my wife and I were in Moab for outer bike. And right before we made that trip, uh, Dave Ox from Simba said, hey, we're gonna put on Fat Bike World Championships. And so if you see anybody there who'd like to get involved, you know, let's hook up. And so, Lo and behold, uh, there was the uh, Borealis booth. So John Norton approached us. We were in Moab, Utah. It was during Outer Bike. I think it was July. It was about 110 degrees toward the end of the day. and We were all just looking for a cold drink. And they said, we've got this great idea for the end of January, and it's going to be Fat Bike World. It's going to put fat biking on the map would you be interested in being our title sponsor? And I thought about it for about two milliseconds and said, hell yeah, where's this gonna be? And what does it look like? Yeah, the, you know, the, the events in Crested Butte because it was, it was thought of here, it was conceived here. And uh, our biking heritage is, you know, very deep, Simba, Crested Butte Mountain Bike Association is the oldest bike club, mountain bike club in the world. We have 750 miles of trail, a single track that we maintain here. And the bike culture is so strong uh, in Crested Butte, the Gunnison Valley, that it's a pretty likely place uh, to hold an event like the Fat Bike Worlds. I think the better question is, why not Crested Butte? So the obvious question is, tell me, John, what is this all going to look like? Where is it going to be? Walk me through the details. And we said, well, we don't know what it's going to be like yet. 
other than we're gonna have it. And it's gonna be a good time, and it's gonna help put fat biking on the map in Western Colorado. So over the months of planning, we honestly had no idea what we were gonna do. But I did have one goal, and that was to have fun. And that we did. Well, I think after five years and over 750 riders total, they've got the event pretty well figured out. Highlights of the fifth annual Fat Bike Worlds, Borealis Fat Bike Worlds. I don't even know where to start. We got one more rider out on course, and to me, that's some of the greatest stuff ever. The one who just finished was, man, raw emotion. There's emotion out there. You see everything from smiles to suffering to people who are literally just here for the bacon and the whiskey. It's amazing. It's an amazing crew, and um, this year, the fifth has been maybe one of the best. It's about 25 degrees, the sun's out, it's been an amazing day. We've got amazing sponsors, it's an amazing place to be, and uh, I don't know what to say. It's funny how each time that these uh, end, it's, uh, it's a glorious thing to be a part of. Humble to be a part of it. So grateful for all these amazing people, and uh, it's the fifth annual, and we're gonna keep this going. And uh, Fat Bike Polo was a damn good thing last night, we're gonna keep that going. Don't know, I'm becoming overwhelmed by emotions here just thinking about it, so. So the other thing that was really awesome this year is we got the youth involved. We have an amazing team from Fountain Valley. We had some kids from Monument, uh, Castle Rock, Denver, Western Slope. So we had a solid high school team. We had a couple of college kids uh, in the collegiate division. That was awesome. Uh, and we always have Scooby-Doo and some people in, in skirts and decked out and whatever they feel. Uh, I think resonates with their fat bike spirit. Uh, it was just an amazing, amazing fifth year for us.